Hey everybody, this is Dallas Stone here doing a Let's 3D model. And uh, let's see here, there's a bunch of things that it's going to ask to re-import into the scene. Hopefully the audio is okay. I think it's fine. I've been having some issues with the audio of late, but uh, it seems like it's going pretty good right now. So uh, I think this mic is pretty good at detecting when things are getting hot. So, okay, so um, minus all that, let's, uh, let's talk about some 3D modeling, guys. Um, hold on, let me just load up the scene. That's kind of important. It's asking for materials. It's missing materials. I don't care about the materials right now. All right, yep. Looks like uh, looks like today I'll be able to do some let's three let's plays of the 40k Space Marine game. Okay, so um, first things first is this is the scene. The last time you guys saw it, right? There's gonna be a bunch of different things now. You guys are gonna notice this new uh, cabinet. I, actually, I don't know if you guys have seen this new cabinet yet, but there it is. Uh, you guys will see that this, that these new light, the new light, pot lights. Um, but there's more. There's more. And let me just quickly see. Let me just quickly see here. What else did I model? Did I model these upper ones too? Uh, let's see. Um, I feel like I did. I feel like I did. Hold on. Let me just open up my folders here. Uh, kitchen, kitchen. Um... I've just been modeling, guys. I've been modeling a, a crap ton uh, as like a warm up at work, and um, I'm kind of losing track of what I what I have what I have done. Uh, kitchen, kitchen countertops, light fixture. So light fixture is definitely in. A range hood is definitely in. Um, range hood. Okay, so let me just uh, place these in here now right so let's just go into my content browser and let's just check out all these new assets that i have so kitchen cabinet one so there's my kitchen cabinet right so um i'll have to put those in there i'll throw down another uh cabinet here as well right just throw that um, so I have to decide what I want to do with those and then I have another kitchen counter here, cabinet here I'm just gonna lower down my speed with the uh, wheel mouse there and there we go do that for you guys so there we go we got that going and um, you know now, now now this is this is where things start to get fun right I can start throwing this little uh, knife block in there if I really wanna just for funsies start throwing a bunch of random b cups and bowls and and uh, things like that around the kitchen just for fun um, the range hood I can toss that in there and obviously it's gonna give me this weird error and I don't I still haven't figured out how to get rid of that stupid error um, but it's okay figure it out we'll figure it out as we go um, and it doesn't seem like it likes being snapped on the 10 to 10 grid here so I don't know what's going on with that but it doesn't like it so I'm just gonna um, snap it myself here and I'm just going to delete this block here whoa what just happened there I don't know what just happened um, so there we go I almost feel like I need to extend this up a little bit more um, but it's fine Pretty sure that's what that's where it was so that's the range and for the range what I can do is I can definitely grab one of these bad boys um, and uh, move it over a bit so I'm just gonna free free do this here I'm just gonna change this up I'm probably even gonna scale this down to be honest with you scale this down a tad bit make it like a little small light you know I make it a little small light and uh, and then I'll just duplicate another one, just kind of place it here, and then I'll probably make some like vents. I'll just I'll create some vents underneath it because with uh, with you know range hoods and stuff like that, they usually have vents to uh, vent out all the smoke and stuff like that. So that's what I'll do. And um, so yeah, so that's the hood range. What else did I put in there? Uh, obviously, I have to relight this, or else it's just gonna look really weird. Oh, see, now it looks completely weird. 
Wow, I didn't realize that that would that, that would turn out like that, but it's okay. Um, so let me see here. So we got that. We got a couple of random. Got some of these random ones laying around here. Um, I need to move this down. I think. Let's move this down a tad bit. Move this cabinet up, and it should fit relatively well. Okay, so it doesn't fit completely well. Oh, that's why. Okay, so if I just slam this in a little bit more, move this a tad bit, and it should work out. Yeah, it should work out. Okay, I'm just gonna move this in a little bit more. There, maybe move this down. Move this down just like that, so that we have this kind of separation. Obviously, the cabinet's not going to be blue. I just slapped on a random texture onto it because it was causing the weird light mapping stuff. And this is not UV'd. None of these are UV'd properly. So that's another disclaimer that I want to quickly tell you guys. I just kind of threw these together for now just to kind of see how it would look. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, so and then the stove I was modeling today, and again, like I said, guys, I I, I don't. I have I, I have two computers that I work on. This is the computer that allows me to kind of do a little bit more. <clears throat> so this material is this is missing a material, and that's probably why it's causing issues. So if I just toss on a random material here, um, will this change anything? It doesn't seem like it's changing very much. Um, this is the range hood. It says it's doing. It's using that texture. So if I just throw on a different texture here, um, and I just save it. Yeah. So it's just kind of a texture issue here. So I mean, I'll I'll fix that when I finally make a texture for it. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Uh, what other assets are there? Um, so we got the garbage can already. Uh, the light fixture. So we got this light fixture here. So I'm just gonna throw this light fixture on here. And again, it's it's missing a texture. So I'm just gonna throw on this texture for now. And yeah, that seems to always fix the issue, which is great. And I'm just going to um, first off, I'm gonna change the lighting uh, to more of like a sunny, a, a, a sun. Okay, so first off, let's just try and get this. Okay, so this is not lining up again. So, so I'm just going to put this, try and line up as best as possible, and then just bring it in. I'm just going to kill this box. So there we go. Obviously, this is going to have like an emissive on it or whatever, and um, and I can move this in a little bit more to kind of give us the light later and um, so yeah so I mean everything right now is looking pretty blue so I'm sorry about that guys it doesn't look so appealing but it'll, it'll look good once we kind of get more things going on in here um, what was I doing um, what, what other assets did I make here um, so this is the light asset I'm just gonna save this for now yeah, so the, I mean, for this video, I think I'm just going to show you guys kind of like just a bunch of assets that I've been modeling, and uh, <clears throat> and then and then I'll get into either some of the s modeling the stove or something. Uh, so we got this microwave. Doesn't look like it has much going on with it right now. Um, I think that right now it's just literally a box. I don't think I've modeled anything yet. The pot light I already modeled. The shelf, stove A is something that I'm modeling right now. Upper cabinets. This looks like I've already done. Let me see here. Yeah, this looks like I've already fin kind of finished it. So I'm going to... Okay, so hold on. I'm just going to turn on snapping. And I'm going to put this in. And did that snap perfectly onto there? I don't really know. Did it? I don't think it did. Um, but it looks like it did. That's so weird. Did it actually? Yeah, it looks like it did. Okay. Well, sorry. 
Okay, so right now I just want to hide this. Just get rid of all these. I'm just going to delete it. And well, what did I just hide? I, hide? I hid something. I hid this one. So there we go. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like it, it fits right in there. I mean, I could be wrong. Hmm. Okay, well, looks like I just got to be a lot more diligent with that. Okay, so for the materials, I'm going to throw in uh, this material here. But see, I mean, I guess it has to be on the actual asset itself. So I'm just going to click on this asset. I'm going to throw a material on there. There we go. For now. And, uh, and there you have it. Looks like it's going to fit in there just fine. Everything looks snugged. I think I'm going to make a change here and uh, pull this all the way up right so that it goes all the way up to the ceiling um, we have our pot lights our pot lights look cool and uh, I think that's the only thing I mean all I have to do now is I just have to duplicate these put them up here and then we're good to go um, I'm gonna quickly make that change with the uh, with the um, the range hood so let's see where's the source on so the source range hood a and i'm just going to uh bring this up quite a bit more uh oops sorry guys sorry 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 okay yeah i'm just gonna bring that up bring this up like that this should crash through which is fine with me i'm okay with that uh, i'm just gonna select this what's in this group here nothing Okay, I'm just gonna delete, take that, copy that name, export it, and I'm going to go to pr content, props, export. Then I'm also gonna save the scene. So now we have backups, and then we're gonna go back to here, and now you'll see that the range is going all the way up through the ceiling, doing its thing. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna create like a little vent here, and that vent is gonna be a universal vent. I can put a vent you know like right here I can put the vent pretty much essentially anywhere I can put a vent up here if I really wanted to right just to kind of change things up a bit and uh, and uh, yeah and I'm thinking you know maybe we'll make a little sink or something on this side I'll make that decision a little bit later on but yeah for now this is just uh, me throwing in a bunch of the assets that I've created for the scene and um, hopefully I can get back to some more modeling and stuff like that afterwards. Uh, hold on. For me, I'm not a big fan of this of this um, of this lighting right now, to be honest with you guys. So I'm gonna change the lighting a little bit. Um, change like that. I I want to change it. But the thing is, is it's not changing this it's not changing the sun where's the sun come on sun where's the sun sky sphere I don't think this is changing it is it is this changing the sun oh yes it is okay yeah so I want to change the sun so that yeah there we go I'd, I'd have to build out the lights again to see how this affects everything but um, I also still need to kind of build like a window kind of thing like a window frame of some sort but for now let's let's just quickly build this lighting and then I'll show you guys how this looks with the lighting and then um, and then we'll <clears throat> then we'll see what's going on um, but yeah I mean it's uh, the scenes coming along nicely um, again just kind of trying to be a little bit smarter uh, with with my lights and stuff um, what's going on here a bunch of overlapping UVs blah, blah blah yeah so things are gonna look like shit because of the overlapping of UVs so um, in other words I need to <laughs> UV these properly um, which is probably what I'll do I'll go in and then I'll do that in the next video here. Um, forgot one of my one of my rules, which is to make sure that you 
UV your stuff properly. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and um, hopefully I'll be right back with another video.